Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flip Teacher Professional Learning video, I'm going to show you how to set up and share your class notebook in OneNote. So first we need to log into Office 365 to this screen here. We then need to find and click on the class notebook tile. That will load up class notebook and this is the main screen. So here there are four options. Create a class notebook, add or remove students, add or remove teachers, and manage your notebooks. We'll go through each of these options in a separate video. Today though, we're only going to be looking at creating a class notebook. So let's click on that tile, and it actually will take us through setting it up as in a bit of a wizard. So give it a name. Personally, I like to give mine quite structured names. I'll always put the year first, because that way when I'm looking in my OneDrive, it's very easy to find because I know what year I taught that. It also prevents things getting out of order. So 2017, stage three. Click on next, so give it a name for whatever suits you. This gives you a bit of an overview of what's going to be happening. It tells you what it will create and who's going to have access and what kind of basic permissions there will be. So you've got three main spaces, the collaboration space, the content library, and the student notebooks. That's all fine, that's just an FYI. So we click next. Now this is where you can add other teachers to have access. This is great if you are job sharing, if you are in a team teacher situation, if you are sharing a course or if you are sharing a subject with somebody um, in secondary. Um, for the moment I'm going to leave that blank but you can put people in there if you need to. If you need to add multiple people you need to put a separate their names by a semicolon. Let's click next. Add students name. Now you can do this by just simply typing in their names separated by a semicolon. The class notebook setup actually won't allow you to have names in there that are not listed within the system. So you need to select your students from the list that will pop up. We go next. This allows us to select what is going to be in the student's private space. So let's open up the um, full list. So you can see by default they get handouts, class notes, homework and quizzes. You can add additional sections if you wish to, depending on what the subject or the age group is that you're working with. So we'll leave that for the moment. We'll go next and it gives you a preview. This is kind of what it's going to look like. And you can see here, that's this is what the teacher's notebook will look like. If we click on the student's notebook, you can see what that will look like. So obviously as a teacher, you can see here I've got the two students that I entered, but from the student side, they can only see their name and then their sections. So let's go create, setting up one note class notebook. This will take you know 15 to 30 seconds. There we go. So now I've got the message here that the notebook is ready. It gives you the title. I can either open it in OneNote or I can open it in OneNote online and I can copy the link so I right click copy link address to share with my students. So class notebook add-in, there is a class notebook add-in for your OneNote desktop app uh, and there are some other options there. So that's how we set up a brand new notebook. Now to open the notebook and make it usable I want to go back to OneNote. So I click on OneNote. We might leave that there actually. We'll keep that as a, a, a one topic video. So that's how we set up a class notebook. For more helpful videos like this and to see the rest of the videos in this series, please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on the FTPL videos link at the top. Thanks very much for watching.